Hey, what's going on? It's your boy NWP, and today we're doing something a little bit different. But first, hey, I still got that V-Buck giveaway going on. So if you'd like to win $50 worth of V-Bucks, go ahead and hit that link in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, as you can see, this is not Fortnite. No, is Fortnite dead? Is it is it really over? I don't know, dude, but I can tell you that this is got some uh League of Legends, Smite, uh Dota kind of thing going on with uh weapon and armor crafting and potions. But it is a battle royal game. And the weapons to me, because it is it is by the same people uh that um not lawbreakers, because that was Radical Heights with um but Smite and um, Paladins, that's the name of the game, Paladins from High res uh, it has like, this is the Paladins variant of a of, of Battle Royale game, basically, and uh, it's, it's kind of interesting, it's got some weird stuff, like as you can see here, I have a Poison Pistol, yeah, it's a three round burst pistol, and uh, as you can see here, it does damage after you shoot the people, and uh, you know, when you shoot them, obviously, but uh, yeah. And this right here, instead of going down, you turn into a chicken, currently, you turn into a chicken, and for 30 seconds you can run away and uh, basically power up, as well as you need to disenchant, and, uh, you know, so like right now, though, you really, like, targeting the items on the ground really kind of sucks, in my opinion, it's not, uh, it's not good, it's, it's kind of <laughs> terrible, guys, to be real with you. It is, you have to be like looking dead at it. If you're in a forge kind of craft as you see me doing here, um, it's, it can be very difficult to pick stuff up. You can just keep opening the forge and it, I don't know. It's basically, it feels like original H1Z1 pickups did, which were really rough. You had to look directly at the item. Um, and uh, yeah, but like overall the gunplay itself feels overwatchy or... Um, you know, even, even Fortnite-ish, it's got that Fortnite, you know, Overwatch kind of, you know, slow bullet or slow projectile kind of thing going on. So it's a different game compared to your normal tactical shooters, but it's still kind of like what's the, the norm right now. But this doesn't have building and where it trades out building, you have, uh, special abilities, almost like World of Warcraft-ish where, there's going to be a synergy between you and your teammates, and currently this is only uh, uh, duos and squads, which I think squads is four. Um, I'm not 100% sure I haven't played it yet, but in this mode, in duos, you really get, you can just kind of play whatever, obviously. But we were having a little bit of fun. As you see there, I shot myself with a plasma cannon. And your armor goes way up, depending on what armor you're wearing. Like, you actually need to put armor on. As you can see here, I'm a chicken. And I'm going to run away for 30 seconds with, uh, you know, and have my teammate defend me rather than be down and out and just, you know, have them pick me up and be out of the game. So I, I kind of like this idea in that I'm going to get up in a period of time regardless. And the cool part is, is like your teammate can also turn into a chicken. So, and you, if you guys both ran away, per se, you could actually make it to the end of the game and survive and still do some stuff. But, you know, it that's, you know, whatever. So, yeah, you see me pop up here real quick, and I'm, like, hitting these healing potions, and then you got armor potions, and you got, like, different abilities that will drop out of the chests, as well as weapons, that, um, I don't know, how do I explain this? It's, like, they're class-based, so there'll be ones you cannot pick up. Like, as you see here, it's got the little red, you know, no sign on it for me, but there is some stuff I can pick up, and as you see, I'm just disenchanting. Getting my shards so that I can use the forge. That's basically what we were doing. I was like, oh, hey, look. A legendary poison pistol. Some of the things in here are really Fortnite. You know, kind of like the um, weapon grades and, you know, stuff like that. My thing, though, is is this could adopt some things to Fortnite. Like, seeing my, my teammates load out under his health bar is really cool. Because then you can tell, like, if who's got minis and, you know, like... Who's carrying first aid kits, stuff like that. Like, just could be really nice to add. Could be cool for the viewers to watch and know what you know, etc. What the other teammates have, all sorts of different, really, uh, you know, 
opinion based options there but it is a, a cool thing that could be added to Fortnite um and be beneficial to us so i don't you know now i, don't, I was noticing you like you like jump higher and stuff but oh oh before i even say that there's a mount so you can mount a horse and ride away you just press your z button mount up and ride it's amazing so yeah, I noticed you kind of move faster when you're in the circle around the forge. So I was like jumping around and experimenting here for a little bit. And uh, I ended up picking up a shotgun and finding out that they're nasty. And I also get this awesome wall. And I was like, oh my, yeah, I have a shield wall. Oh man, you know, like, so I'm like thinking about this now. And I still got the basic keybinds. Like this is only like my second or third game. I don't even know at this point. But, you know what I mean? Like, I've just been screwing around in this game. As you can see, there's the horse. We're, we're out of here. We're getting in the safe zone, buddies. <clears throat> now, those markers, I, f I feel like you can see enemy markers. Because we weren't placing them down after the beginning. And they, we were seeing them. And uh, there's different chests to drop by. Like, we've just seen this right here. You know? And uh, we're like, whatever. You know, checking it out. Seeing what's going on. Now each cl each class has like a different ability that you get off the like the jump kind of and um, warriors can leap really far and uh, engineers can jump really high in the air mages like fly and um, you get like a blink teleport kind of thing with the assassin I'm not sure what the uh, hunter gets but. Uh, yeah, all in all, guys, I think this is pretty fun. Will it kill Fortnite? I don't know, because honestly, at this point, it, it just feels like games could take over at any time with one basic kind of addition to the game. And that would be it right there, you know? Like, it's just something that the, the crowd will like, and it's over with. Now, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This pistol is just ridiculous. Like, I actually, like, I'm pretty sure I shoot this guy from pretty far away right here. And uh, I think he gets, I think he gets my buddy here and just eliminates him as I'm like trying to figure out how to play this out with my like really awful long range weapons that I have right now. So I'm like, uh, okay, this thing's not gonna do it. I'm gonna get killed if I use this. I put my shield down. This guy thought, oh, he's gonna charge through my shield. It did not work out that well for him. There you are, chicken mode, and he thought he was gonna hide from me with this chicken thing. I was like, no, you know what, buddy. That's not going to happen. So I just ran. <laughs> like, he fell for that that easy. He was just going to run around in circles the whole way. Now, this is where I, like, first really found the shotgun. Which, this is the problem that I have. Is, like, it's becoming, like, shotgun-based completely. And <sighs> shotguns could be removed from FPS games and third-person games completely. And they would be more fun for everybody in general. Now, as you see here, when you grab armor and stuff and put it on, it actually gives you more, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily give you more armor, but it gives you more potential armor. So you got to use your potions to get it up and stuff like that. So I hope I'm like at least explaining a little bit of this game to you guys. But as you see now, I, I dropped the, uh, the, I, the, what did I even have there? Oh, I had my plasma class weapon. I dropped that because that thing was awful. And uh, I picked up the shotgun. And I was like, I need to win this, you know, like, I need to get this W. So I, I camped for a minute, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a camper, I camped. Another poison pistol, I was like, son of a bitch, what the hell is with these poison pistols? So I'm right here, right, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking my buddy. And you probably, like, I'll, I'll turn up the volume here, so you can hear the stuff that he's talking about, because I forgot to record my microphone like an idiot. So, for the rest of the video here in a second, I will add just a commentary of my of my buddy, as you can hear, uh, as I try to win this 1v2 or whatever it was, like I think it was a 1v2, maybe 1v3 at one point, but uh, I think I only killed two people, so, uh, yeah, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope I brought you something different to watch, and I hope you guys check out the game, but uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> no, you gotta start! Take him out! That's boy's coming. Need a 
shield up. Yeah, he's right there. I'm gonna fire.